Hey, this is Mad Movie Mark of the Mad Movie Mark Movie Review. Thank you for joining me as I review the 2020 French drama Slalom. Avec lui, c'est plus de casse, plus tu l'écoutes et plus tu l'écoutes, meilleur tu deviens. Ça marche. Avec certains, oui. Hey, that's not what I'm trying to. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. I'm just giving a fair review of all the movies I watch. I'm not trying to crush anyone or anything. <laughs> For I crushed him into the ground. Uh, Slalom was probably one of the hardest movies I've ever had to watch in my entire life, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. And that's because it involves statutory rape. And it is kind of brutal, I would say, and it involves grooming. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a movie that involved grooming um, that I can remember, that I can think of. There was another movie that I reviewed fairly recently that was also 100% fresh and rotten tomatoes called Ramble and Rose, where a older woman statutorily raped a child. Uh, but then they never mention it the entire movie again. It was just like a one-off thing for no reason. Um, this movie, the central theme is basically grooming, is um, the statutory rape, is about a... Uh, a coach who holds uh, mental and emotional power over his students, especially this one student uh, who excels at skiing. And he uh, basically takes her entire childhood away from her and uh, everything that uh, happens that's wrong in her life or when he starts um, making advances towards her, it's her fault, which is typical of like a groomer, typical of um, someone who's trying to molest a child from what I will understand, I can understand. Now, um, this movie is, is really hard to watch, but it's, it's intended to be hard to watch. And as I was watching it, I couldn't, I was really thinking to myself, like, what is, how big is the target audience for a movie like this? Um, I, I didn't play sports when I was a child at all. I didn't, uh, especially, in, I mean, not at this level. This is a, is a girl who's uh, training to be a, a skier, but she's training to be an Olympic skier. So she is someone who's one of the, the best in the world. She's 15 years old. She has this coach who uh, injured himself when he was younger, which is like typical of a movie like this. You have a coach who used to be great at the sport and is now injured. And he's trying to chain, uh, train a group of people to be Olympic ready, but she is eventually the one who is the standout and eventually the one who looks like she has the best chance at it. And um, I know that there was this uh, the big scandal with the women's gymnastics team where there was a doctor who sexually abused children. Um, but I was, I was watching this movie thinking, like, is this, is this really um, something that's rampant? Is this really an issue that is um, – that happens a lot in the sports world. Now, I I did do, normally I don't go to like IMDb trivia, but I really wanted to know if there was anything there at all that would help answer this question. And it says that this movie is used um, by many federations to initiate discussions about abuse, which I think is fantastic. So at least there is a bigger audience for this than I thought there would be. Um, when I was watching it, I was thinking like, Ugh, this movie, it's like, I don't know who it's appealing to. I really don't know why it's there. I don't know why it exists. Like I thought maybe this wasn't a huge issue. It was just a one-off issue uh, with the Olympics gymnastics team. Cause you don't hear a lot of news about rampant abuse in sports and rampant abuse in Olympic sports. It was just that I've, I've only heard of that one time. Um, so I'm like, is there really a reason for this movie? Is there really like an audience for this movie? Because it's really brutal. It's a hard movie to watch. Watching a young girl who's 15 years old, who has this drive and this determination to be the best that she can be. Her mother is kind of absent because her mother works in like another town, another city. So this girl lives by herself essentially um, while she's training for the Olympics. And there's this trainer who... Um, very early on, you can see that he's very touchy-feely with her. There's a scene in the very beginning of the movie where he has her get undressed to her underwear so that he can, like, weigh her and determine, like, how much body fat she has so he can see how much weight she needs to lose. And there's definitely glimpses in this movie in the beginning that he is, if, even if you don't know what it's about and you go into it knowing nothing, that he is definitely... Um, going to do something to her that's not going to be great. Um, and then later in the movie, she uh, event uh, right away, she's not the best. She does a lot of mistakes while she's skiing, and he's very tough on her, and he's very tough on a lot of the people who ski, but particularly her, he's very tough on. And um, she eventually gets better, 
Um, I don't know exactly what the motivation is to get better or how she gets better. She just kind of is better at one point <laughs> where she like wins this tournament and uh, she ends up winning more and more tournaments and she ends up becoming Olympic ready. Now, she got better very fast, it seemed like. Uh, she improved a lot in a small amount of time and I don't necessarily know if it was because of his coaching because he just seems to get mad at the students a lot and there doesn't seem to be a lot of really good coaching here in my opinion. Now, I've never been coached before uh, but I really don't know if he's providing them with anything <laughs> to, be, to be perfectly honest. Um, but she gets really really good and at some point in the movie she wins like this big tournament to where she can um, start trying to qualify for the Olympics and he's in a car with her and they're doing donuts and then he just like like, like, like jacks off essentially for I don't know what other term, term to use while she's in the car while she's in the truck with him. And he's like, "Look what you make me want to do to myself," and it's like a very tough scene to watch. And you're like, "Okay, this is the point where you should leave. You should not be with this coach anymore. You should head for the hills." Essentially, is what you should do. Um, but she wants to win, and she thinks that the only way that she can win is to have this coach and to essentially do what the coach wants. Now, you do get inklings throughout the movie that she thinks that this coach is attractive. I don't know if that's because he actually actually thinks that he's attractive or because he is showing her affection and she likes the affection. So in her mind, he is attractive. That's part. I believe that's part of the grooming. I don't really know, like grooming 101 so i have no idea what the process is or what it's supposed to look like or anything i just know that this guy is definitely grooming her in some way um but she ends up like becoming attracted to him and later on in the movie she he is like having her lift weights and she hurts her leg and he ends up like having actual sex with her um after she hurts her leg and i could have really done without this scene in the movie like if it was alluded to, that would have been fine. Uh, I still think it would have been um, really... I guess they're going for impact here. They're trying to um, show you that uh, how bad and, and, and terrible this is for her and how wrong it is. Uh, I think they could have done that without showing the scene. I think they could have just, like, allude... Like, they could have... Um, you could have known in your mind that it happened and it still would have been just as bad. I think like, I, I don't know the reasoning for showing this. It was really uh, terrible. <laughs> like I, the movie kind of lost. Like, I mean, the movie lost me really early on, but when it, when it did that, I was like, God, when is this, when is this movie going to be over? Like, I really don't want to watch this anymore. I'm only watching this because it's hundred percent fresh from the critics on Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm watching every movie that's 100% fresh in chronological order. Um, it also has a 60% fresh rating from the from the audience. Um, but I was like, what is this, when is this movie going to be over? Like, I can't, I don't want to watch this anymore, essentially. But I got the rest of the way through it. Luckily, that was the only scene in which uh, they show them actually having sex together. The rest of the movie, it's just alluded that they continue to have sex together. Um, and... There's also a point in the movie where he uh, does not allow... Like, she starts hitting on him, and she starts, like, making advances towards him. Like, she wants to have sex. There's a spe specific scene in the movie later on where she definitely does that, and he kind of, like, does not allow her advances to happen, um, which is... I, I don't know if that's also part of the mind games that he's playing with her, or if he got what he wanted, and now he... Uh, like doesn't really it's not a big deal to him anymore i have no idea but this ends up destroying his marriage now she never noe abita who plays the girl she never like tells his wife or i think it's either his wife or his girlfriend that this is going on in fact she's like part of the training staff and she specifically asks her if this is happening or she like alludes to the fact that i know something's going on with you and him like you need to tell me because i'm a trainer too i'm part of the team here and she just says that nothing's going on but his wife knows that something is happening and he's with this 15 year old girl all the time day and night she he's never home and she she knows that something's going on because he's probably done it in the past I, I think there's actually like some of the girls say that he has done this in the past um so she ends up leaving him so he loses his wife at some point in the movie and um 
and at the end of the movie, it's really, it's really kind of weird ending. It's very, it's a very unsatisfying ending in a lot of ways. Because at the end of the movie, I'm going to spoil it. Because honestly, unless you're part of the federations that uses this movie to initiate discussions about abuse, or maybe you're going to, I wouldn't let your children watch this movie to initiate <laughs> discussions about abuse. Uh, but I wouldn't, I mean, I honestly wouldn't suggest watching this movie at all. Um, but at the end of the movie, she ends up winning. She ends up, I, don't, I think she qualifies for the Olympics is what it is. Like, she's not actually in the Olympics at the end of the movie, but she qualifies. And she, um, instead of celebrating, she has, like, this very stoic face on her. She's very straight face. She's very, like, almost like a deer in the headlights, like, the whole time after she wins. And he wants to celebrate, and he says, like, we can tour now, we can be together forever, and all this stuff. And she just says no, and she kind of walks away with, like, this this glaring face, like, um, expression on her face. Now, the night before, she did hang out with her mother, and her mother said that she was going to be there for her more, and that she's sorry that she couldn't um, be around, and now she's going to be more of a mother figure to her. So I don't know if, if that was what sparked it or not. Um... But that's just how the movie ends. The, the credits roll. Like, nothing happens to him. You have to assume that she... I mean, I would assume that she goes to the the board, whatever the racing board is, whatever the Olympic committee is, and she tells them that she's abused and that something happens to him. That's my hope of what happened. But there's... I mean, there's no proof of that. It doesn't actually happen at the end of the movie. So, like he just gets away with uh, abusing this child. Now, is that also supposed to um, be a bigger commentary about how it's easy for coaches like this to get away with this and for children to not actually come out and say anything? Like, maybe at the end of the movie she never says anything and maybe that's what's supposed to happen because maybe you're supposed to watch this movie and be appalled by the fact that he's probably going to go and abuse more children. And, you know, if they use this to, if they use this to initiate discussions in the, in the, in the sports, then the person, the person who's actually in the sport who's watching this movie will say, Oh, if that ever happens to me, I should, I should say something about it. Um, I don't know if that's what's going on because I, I don't know what the intent of the ending of the movie was. Like I said, I just hope that at the end he is caught in some way and he's not able to do this to her anymore. And I'm assuming that, she, that her uh, skiing career is over, which is also sad because she was a very gifted skier in this movie. Like, she was, she qualified for the Olympics. I mean, she's one of the top 1% in the world at this sport. And the fact that she would give up and she would quit because of, uh, of this abuse that she had and maybe she doesn't like have the passion for this anymore is in incredibly tragic. It's just, a, it's a, it's a tragic movie all around. Now, when I, when I reviewed Ramblin' Rose, I said that if, if a movie comes around and there's statutory rape in it again, it's getting a low score. And, uh, I still stand by that. Like that scene, I still don't think that scene should have been there. It, it, it's impactful enough. It was just weird to me, that they put that in there, there has to be another way around it. There has to be another way of having and showing the impact of of rape and abuse without actually showing what is supposed to be a fifteen year old child actually getting raped. Um, it's a it's it's a tough scene. It's brutal, and I don't want to see it. And um, yeah, I, I hope to never watch this movie again. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, it 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 was impactful in that. Um, the acting performances were really fantastic. Um, if you didn't know that this could happen in sports, then now you know. I knew because of the um, the gymnastics uh, thing that happened, but like I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how prevalent, how rampant this is. I don't know how big of an issue this is. Um, maybe that's because people don't come out, and this movie will will make it so that more people come out and actually talk about their experiences like being raped in, in sports. I don't know. Um, but this movie was just too hard. It was too, it was too rough for me. I think they could have handled things differently in my opinion. Um, I'm going to give it a five and a half out of 10. Uh, not, not something that I ever want to visit again. <laughs> if, if anyone for some reason ever asked me to watch this movie, which I'm sure no one will, uh, I will definitely tell them no. I will. I do not want to watch that movie ever again. So it's a five and a half out of ten. 
I hope you join me next time when I review a movie that I'm not 100% sure I can pronounce. It's called like I yeah, I am Mofi or something like that. I am Mofi. Um, but anyway, that's next. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.